It was just a few weeks ago when Christy Warner received a heartbreaking phone call. I physically sank. Like I ended up sitting on the ground just trying to wrap my head around how something like that could end up in our home. Christy had been concerned about the ingredients in her six-year-old daughter Mackenzie's glitter makeup kit purchased at Claire's inside Providence Place. So the Barrington mom, who works for Deaton Law Firm in East Providence, mailed the makeup to an independent lab in North Carolina. In the work that we do, we've come across contaminated cosmetics, um, but there you just assume that a children's product would be safe. Christy says Mackenzie's makeup wasn't. Test results revealed tremolite asbestos, a toxic cancer-causing material. Exposure to asbestos has been linked to mesothelioma, which is 100% fatal. Her response was, am I going to die? There's no right answer to that because I don't want to lie to her. Concerned other kids might be exposed, Christy and her boss, John Deaton, purchased 17 more Claire's makeup products from nine different states. This is unusual. So let's get multiple jurisdictions, multiple states, multiple products, and let's see how that results. The results weren't good. John Fitzgerald of Scientific Analytical Institute, the scientist who conducted the tests, tells me he was shocked by how pervasive the results were. Tremolite asbestos in every single product. The fact that the majority of the products came from the store shelf within the last two weeks means that there are other children being exposed. Friday afternoon, Claire's issued a response. As a result of today's inquiry from WJAR, we have taken the precautionary measure of pulling the items in question from sale and will be conducting an immediate investigation into the alleged issues.